Mirroring a model and using symmetry is probably one of the most asked questions that I get on the YouTube channel and in the Facebook groups. So we're going to cover today how to make something that's got uh, a repeatable, a mirrorable part, like for example this 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 barog with a with a horn. We're going to make the horn on one side, and then we're just going to try all the different options to mirror it and how we adjust that. So follow along and see what you can uh, learn about symmetry and mirroring. So to show symmetry then, I decided um, we wouldn't just do a sphere or something mundane, we'd make a balrog as you do. Um, so we went ahead and made this the other night just for this tutorial and it, and it created a few interesting things along the way. So the great thing about this little model, it, it only took about an hour, an hour and, hour and 15 I think. Uh, I'll run the time lapse alongside me talking now so you can see how it was created. Um, but before I do that, we'll just talk about what, what was exciting about this head. So firstly, I know this video is about um, symmetry, but if you just look at what's on screen now, I found a way to use the layering system and almost create like a mixing deck for um, visuals. So as you can see on screen there, I was just creating this creature, painting him up, m m moving him around using layers. And then I, I put two or three fingers on the screen and then started getting this mixing deck effect. So I just thought that was quite interesting to show that one before we start. So the the uh, the video that we're, uh, we are supposed to be doing is about symmetry so that the head itself is split into two parts. So if you go up here and you look at the models, you've got the horn, which is a single piece on the right side of his head. And you've got the head. So I've made it quite clear. I've left it bright red on the end of the horn so you can see quite clearly where that ends. And the head is like this. It's got the two yellow bits where the horns fit. It's not made for 3D print. So there's no um, there's no keying hole, there's no keying um, pegs or anything like that. Now I probably will do because I quite like the model um, and I think I probably will make it for print, but we, we don't need that yet. But if you are gonna use um, these kind of programs for 3D print, then it would be useful to know how to do this symmetry stuff. So before we go ahead, if you haven't already, um, if you're liking this kind of content, then give us a thumbs up on the video. This one will be a nice video to give thumbs up to. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so we can let you know when the next stuff's coming along, which is at the moment on a Friday and a Wednesday. So back to this little bad boy. So at the moment, I've got everything switched on. So there we go, everything's on. So what we want to do is mirror that horn over to the other side. Now, in uh, Nomad at the moment, you can't just flip across the x-axis. That, that will come, I assume. Um, I spoke to the developer about it, and I'm pretty sure it's quite simple. But at the moment, there's a bit of a workaround to do it. But before we do that, let's just ground ourselves in the world. And what do I mean by that? So let's put um from the settings let's put the uh display grid on i've made it bright green so we can really see where we are and that shows us where we are in the middle of the world you can go up and down with it but you can put it in the middle if that helps but i'm quite happy with it down there so we now can see um where we are in the in the world because it's important to know when you're in the middle of the world here so what we also might want to do is do this, which is outline selection. And I've got it selected so that everything I tap becomes live and a selected green. So that will help you see what I'm doing uh, and, and basically what I'm working on at a given time. Now, as you've been sculpting, as I sculpt this head, for example, if I use just the move tool and I want to just move him around like this, you can see it's only working on the right hand side. Hopefully you can see that a little bit bigger. Okay, and that's because symmetry switched off at the minute. So if you want to work on a symmetrical head, look over here to the, to the right of the screen, switch on symmetry, and there you go. That's how you, if you've never done this before, that's how symmetry is switched on um, from, from the beginning. So that's now a symmetrical model and I'm working on it symmetrically. Obviously, it wouldn't work if it was on this because there's nothing on this other side. 
So um, nothing would happen. You'd be moving this around and, and the point would be moving on the, the opposite side, but no, no geometry would be there to be reflected. So that doesn't really matter for there. So I'll just turn that off for a moment. Now, the workhorse of symmetry is up here in the top right. And if you click the symmetry button there, you'll start to see everything that I'm going to work on now. So rather than just go from the top to the bottom, I'm going to go right to the bottom and I'm just going to d d discuss things as they're relevant rather than reading down from, from top to bottom. So you've got enable symmetry there on and off and you can see it behind it um, on the right hand side. So you already know about that. But down here at the bottom, you've got show symmetry. And at the minute, that's that yellow plane. Now that yellow plane says that this model that I'm currently on, which is the green highlighted one, has a symmetry plane that's in the middle of the world. So that is perfect for what we want to do. Because at the moment, if you look, it's set to world. And that means the middle of your scene is where this is reflecting. You could switch it to local. Now look at that, the difference there is, that locally that model has a symmetry plane that's in the middle so it's always going to matter whether you're, you're on local or world and that does confuse some people and the version that you're in now has changed from the version that i was using last week so just be aware of that and just always it's good to put things like this symmetry plane on so that you really ground yourself as to where you are with your model without it you can feel a bit lost in the world so one other thing at the bottom there is I've got plain 3D or line on mesh. Now line on mesh is the same thing, but it just gives you this line. Can you see in the center here, there's a, there's a white line down the center of the model now, and it doesn't really show well on a bright, um, on a, a bright red and orange model, but basically it's the same as that big plane, but it's not as in your face, it's not as obtrusive. So we'll leave it with uh, plain 3D there because we, we want it to be uh, on both models we want it to be really really self-evident now what you can also do is you can move that line if you want to and this will become more relevant to you when we, we do the the actual mirroring but look at the bottom gizmo edit you can click that on and now you can move that line so if you don't want it in world center if you just want to move, mirror something that's not there one you could go locally and two, you could go to this gizmo and edit where it is. So again, we'll try that just to make sure you understand that. So at the moment, it's still in the in the, in the middle of the world. Now, what does that mean now? So let's just get to the, the crux of this. So we've got the horn selected, back up to symmetry. We've got reset direction. It's already on X, but if you need to, you can do, you can hit X. And then you've got this here, which is flip direction. So what does that mean? So let's just hit mirror and see what happens. Failed to apply symmetry, no edge was found lying on the uh, on the symmetry line. Do you want to enforce the symmetry? So what that's saying is, I have my symmetry line in the middle and I didn't find any geometry there. And that's because it's over here on, on the, the far side on, on the right. So that's fine. We can just say yes to that because basically we still want to mirror it even though it can't find geometry in the middle. So we say yes. And there you go. It's as simple as that. So it's taken all of the geometry from one side and mirrored it across to the other. Now, in a lot of other programs, you can just do, there would be in there, and I'm sure there will be eventually, just a flip on X, and that will just flip it across. And that will be quite useful, because at the minute, uh, we, we have to do it a different way, and I'll show you how to do that. So to get rid of one piece, or if you want to do a mirror, so say you just wanted this horn, but you wanted it on the other side. So you do what you just did, exactly the tool, uh, exactly the, the process we just did, and we go to trim down here on the left. We go rectangle. And then watch what happens here. Now, symmetry is off, by the way, and then let go. And you can see what happened there. It just trimmed out whichever thing I wanted. You can just trim out a bit of it um, if you want to, uh, but obviously that's not what we're after. Um, so basically, if you need to swip, flip something across an axis, that's how you do it. Uh, and these are, remember, these aren't touching that central axis. The, the, these are a horn either side of it so that, that's quite simple so basically we could say that's it we're done now we've we, we've done what we wanted we wanted to just mirror an eyeball or we wanted to mirror a horn or, or whatever it is in your scene so that's done and dusted but let's go back and let's have a look at the head so on the head we want to use the move tool and say for example uh, i'll just hide that plane now 
because we don't really need it while we're doing this bit of chatting. So say for example, we did some work on this side here and we forgot to have symmetry on. And we've got a really cool sculpt going on, but we'd forgotten to apply it. And it's only been applied to this one side. Okay, so what do we do? So we do exactly the same thing that we just did. What it will do is it will flip all the geometry from this side onto the other and weld it together. So watch this. So we go exactly the same process. We could go, um, we don't want to do flip direction. We just want to do mirror. So we hit mirror. In fact, let me just get the screen so you can see what's happening. Zoom right in for you. Remember this eye is bigger up here. Symmetry, mirror, mirror. And it's saying that it's not applied it again, but that's not true. So we say yes, and there you go. It's mirrored it across. So that means that we've taken everything from this left-hand side and flipped it over to the right-hand side and welded it back together. So that's worked really, really well. So let's just undo that and let's just try, let's just go to flip direction first and then we'll go mirror again. So ready, mirror. And what it's done now is it's taken this side and flipped it back. So that, that basically now does the exact opposite. And that means you can take geometry for, from either side. If you wanna carry on working, put your symmetry on and just carry on. So that's quite useful as well to know that. So basically you can, it, it's easy enough to flip um, either way. You, you know, you, you can choose the, the, the direction that you're going to do the flipping. So let's try something else. Let's try it on a different axis this time. So let us hide the head. So we'll hide that and let's get rid of 50% of these horns. So again, trim. Symmetry off, get rid of one. Oops, we're not on it. We went on the horn there. Okay, so we've got one horn over one side of the of the scene. So let's just have a look and see what else happens. So <clears throat> as you can see, it's now world. So let's change it to local. So we now know we've got a, a symmetry line locally on our model. And instead of X, let's try Y. So look at that, what happens there. You've now got the symmetry plane located flat across, uh, basically up and down on Y, so it'll mirror up and down now. So what does that look like? So let's try it, mirror, and there you go. So now you can do, you can make interesting shapes this way. I used to do this with 2D, with um, um, alias sketch and programs like that, where you can just mirror in different ways. So that's that's really, really useful. Uh, and how about if we move the symmetry plane? So let's go back to, obviously you could do it in Z as well if you wanted to. So Z would give you, uh, so Z and then mirror. Yes, you can see it gives you that, which is again, weird, great way of making crazy shapes. Um, and the last one, um, let's go to, in fact, no, put it back on X and then move the gizmo. So remember gizmo edit. Show the symmetry, gizmo edit. Let's move our gizmo to just here. And now we do it and you already know what's gonna happen. So mirror, there you go. And if we wanted to make the big thing, the, the horn is like a double horn, you have to flip it. So mirroring, flip, mirror, yes. So what about eyeballs? Let's just do, we know how to do it now, so this should be quite straightforward. So bring in a, a sphere. Make sure you hit validate so you know that it can be worked on. I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker now because we know how to do this. So I'm gonna scale it down, move it around. Let's move it to where, well, let's obviously not move the head. Um, move it to where we need it. Bring it out the front here, scale it down. Say for example, we were um, we were going to do an eye. If we needed an eye for this model, we would put it in here. Just getting it to the right place. Uh, 
There we go. So we now have an eye in place. Like so. Just be careful you don't move the head. So the eye's in place, so that's working really well. So how do we get two eyes? Because this is a very, very common thing to do. Um, so you can see with that, with the selection on it, you can see that we've got it right. So basically up to symmetry, um, we're on world, which is exactly what we want. I don't know if the mirror's in the right direction, so let's just try it. We've got X on, mirror, and there you go, it worked. So you can see our head is slightly off center. That's because we've been messing around with it. So you might want to go back to the head and do another mirror on that. And that'll just tighten it down to that seam. So it's exactly on the, on the axis there. And that's how you would do an eye. Now, if you just want to flip an eye, remember exactly as I said earlier on, there is no flip across X, Y, or Z. You have to remove one part of it with symmetry off. So how do I do that? Do it again. So you have to go to the one of my favorite tools, the trim brush, trim rectangle, and drag it away like that. Oh, what did we do? Did it on the wrong layer. So box, gone. There you go. And that's how you do it. We want to do the other side that way. So it's quite simple once you get your head around um, these basic parts of, of, of the model. Uh, sorry, these basic parts of symmetry. So understand the bottom part here with the show symmetry and the plane. Put your grid on to really ground yourself in the 3D world so you know where zero on X, Y, and Z is. That's always quite useful. Make sure that you understand the flipping and the mirroring across an axis, whether it be X, Y, or Z. And then obviously make sure you understand local and world so that you can understand whether you're working on a part somewhere in the scene or, or in the middle of the scene. And that's pretty much it. It's quite a simple thing to do, but it's quite, it's quite, it took me a few minutes to work it all out. And I think it will be one thing that, that the developer changes um, and develops a lot over the next few, few weeks and months, because there are enhancements to it that we would, we would probably all want. So if you're enjoying this kind of video, let's, let, let me know what what it is you like about it and what you'd want me to do more. We have been focusing on Forger and on Nomad and we're now moving across to things like Gravity Sketch and very soon we're going to move into things like Oculus Medium. So that was acquired by Adobe and um, they're starting to get ready for the next release I believe and that's going to be something that we'll get heavily involved in. So look out for those if you're into VR sculpting. Um, have a great week.